What's good YouTube? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to start a session in Adobe Audition. This is for all my noobs, my beginners, anyone that's new to Adobe Audition, this is for you. And uh, yeah, this is how you start a session in Adobe Audition. Now I'm using an older version of Adobe Audition. I have the newer version, but it's on my laptop. But just because I'm using the older version, it's the same process. I just have all my effects on this computer, so I like to use this computer when I mix music. All right, so we're gonna go to File, New, Multi-Track Session, click that. Now don't do this. Name it something that you can remember. A lot of people will do this when they first start making music. I've seen a lot of people do this. I've done this myself where you just name it like one, two, three song. You don't want to do that because you will forget. You will forget what that is. You won't remember it. So make sure you guys name it something you can remember. Same with your folder location. Make a new folder location. Make sure it's something that you can remember. I just made one recently. It's called Recordings 2024. Select folder. Name it something that you can remember. So today it's called how to start session in Adobe Audition. Starting session. And so now I can remember this. Then we have templates. I have a bunch of different templates here. We have the weekend templates, Young Thug templates, Adele. Now you guys will not have these templates. These are all templates that I've made myself. But if you guys wanna go check them out, we have a whole website full of templates for rappers and singers. We have one podcast voiceover template. I'm trying to add more, but we have a ton of rapping and singing templates for all my musicians out there. So if you guys want some vocal templates for Adobe Audition, links are down below. We have a ton of them. If you guys want a little head start on your mixing process, your recording process, get yourself a template. It can really help. All right, next we have our sample rate. Now, I usually record in 44,100 or 48,000. Now, if you guys are recording music, you want to set your sample rate to whatever your beat is set to. Now, most beat sample rate is 44,100, but sometimes it's 48,000. So whatever your beat is set to, that's the sample rate you want to set your session to, or it's going to lower the quality of your session, or you might be off beat when you record. Also, in your audio settings, Make sure your audio settings, like if you go to your control panel, make sure your audio settings, your microphone or whatever, are in the same sample rate as your session. Or it's gonna be off beat or mess up the quality. Make sure you do that. Then we have our bit depth. Now I usually just keep it at 24 or 32. 32 just gives you more headroom for your vocals. I usually just use 24. And then master, you're gonna wanna use stereo. Don't use mono. Stereo is like surround sound. Mono's more in the middle, so you want stereo. Your vocals are gonna be in mono though, so when you record your vocals, you want your vocals to be in mono. Everything else is in stereo. So your vocals are centered, then the instrumentals are around your vocals. And then okay, that's it. Boom, 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 boom. Then you guys have a session started. Now, if, you're, if your session looks a little bit different than mine, like your Adobe looks a little bit different, go to window. Go to workspace and hit reset to classic. Classic, in my opinion, has the best workflow. It has the best interface. It has the best layout. That's what you call it, layout. It has the best layout, in my opinion. So reset the classic and they'll give you this layout. Then you can go to your effects rack. This is where all your effects are. And you can start adding your effects, whatever you wanna add, your compression, solid compressor, classic softeny. And you can add some auto tune. You want some auto tune? Add some auto tune. Add some, add some reverb. And start mixing your vocals. But again, I have lots of presets. If you guys want to go check them out, links are down below. But when you download the preset and upload it, you will see there's a bunch of effects on the side like this. And these effects are affecting your vocals. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That is how you start a session in Adobe Audition. I know it's really simple, but a lot of people are just starting to use Adobe Audition. They're not as pro as you. They don't know this. So I had to make this video for them, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below, subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And I'll see you soon with another video. Peace.